Hello and welcome to Quarkus Tips and Tricks. Today we look into how you start your new Quarkus project. To get started with a new Quarkus project, just go to code.quarkus.io. This opens this nice configuration page where we can set up the new Quarkus project basics. For example, we can configure the build tool we want to use, either Maven, Gradle or Gradle with Kotlin DSL. We can configure the group and also the artifact name. And then we can also configure the Java version we want to use and which extensions of Quarkus we want to use. Here you can select any extension you want. For example, always a good one is the help endpoints. Once you've configured all the extensions that you want initially, just click on create your application and download the zip file. Now you can unpack the zip file and start the IDE. Once the IDE has done the Gradle sync, you already see a run configuration up here that we can just hit to start Quarkus in dev mode. We can also see under the main package that there is already an example greeting resource with an hello endpoint. Now that Quarkus is started up, we can test the endpoint. Under localhost 8080 by default, we find our Quarkus service. In the dev mode, we see this nice dev UI and if we go to the slash hello endpoint, we get our hello from Best Easy React. And that's how you start up your new Quarkus service. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future tips and tricks. See you next time.